In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Lord, send forth your Spirit, and you will renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who instructs the hearts of your faithful with the light of your Holy Spirit, make us responsive to his inspirations, so that we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolations. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Today we consider Christ present in the Blessed Sacrament. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also, the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat the bre this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. How do we receive Holy Communion? Is it recollected? Is it out of routine? Do we prepare ourselves? Do we fast and pray? Do we shuffle into Mass at the last passable moment and get out as soon as possible? Do we feel like our spiritual lives have gotten in a rut? Do we feel like we're not getting anything out of Mass? Do we feel bored? It could be that we need to be more intentional, you and I, about being open to the great gift that is offered us in Holy Mass, in the Most Holy Eucharist, in the Blessed Sacrament. Mary knew what it was like to be present to our Lord Jesus. We ask for the grace to remove all of those barriers between us and a fruitful reception of the Eucharist. If we are attached to any sins, perhaps grievous sins, we ask for the grace of conversion. If we don't desire to grow in love and the life of Jesus in us, we ask for conversion as well. Let's pray. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in your servant, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your gifts, in the perfection of your ways, in the truth of your virtues, in the communion of your mysteries. Subdue within me the power of flesh and demon, by your Holy Spirit, for the glory of God the Father. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.